Hello friends, this video on areas related to circles part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We will study circumference of circle, area of sector and area of combined figures. That is, this is circle, we will study how to find circumference, we will study how to find area of sectors and segments and also we will find area of combined figures. So here's with sector and segment also we will study. The first question that comes to our mind is why should we study circles? If you see the tap which we use in our home, in the bathrooms, in the kitchens, this is circle. In fact, most of the pipes are circle. So if you know the area of circle, we can find the volume of water flowing, speed of water flowing, such kind of thing which you can find if we know circle. If you know circles, if you know how to find perimeter of the circle, if you know how to find the area of the circle, we can find all these things. Also, if you see the lens we use, the camera lens we use also has a circular image. The lens here is circular, if you see. So, if you want to find a lot of things in the camera, you can find using area of circle. Also, if you see the well which we uh, use to get water, the bucket is circular generally. This pulley which is used is circular. The well also is circular in most of the cases. So, if you see a lot of circular figures around us. The compact disc which you use to play music, CDs are all circular. The ball which you use to play, the football and the ball which baby used to play is all so, the tires, the tires of the car are circular. So, if you know a circle, if you can find the perimeter of the circle and the area of the circle, which we study in the, in the slides, we can find the speed of the car. Correct. So, the reason why we are studying circle is, a lot of images, a lot of objects around us has circular orientation. This thing is circle, the ball is circle, the camera is circle, the pipes are circle, the well is circle. A lot of things you see around us. The fans you see has a circular thing. A lot of things are circular. So it's good if we know circle, if we know how to find the perimeter of the circle, the area of the circle. So now we'll study those things. Let's study the perimeter or circumference of the circle. So when I say perimeter of the circle, uh, when I say circumference of the circle, they are same. Correct? Perimeter and circumference both are same. So, what is perimeter? So, if you see this V, it took one devolution. That is, it started from here, this point, it went and it finished at this point again. If you see this orange color thing, correct? It started from here, one complete devolution, and this is nothing but circumference of the circle. Circumference of the circle is nothing but you start from this point, you find the length, you go from here, 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 again come back to this point. This whole length is nothing but circumference or perimeter of the circle. See, in normal case, when you say perimeter of the square, it's nothing but you start from this point, you go till this, this point, this point, you come back to this point. This is nothing but perimeter of the square. Any object you want to find the perimeter. You start from that object, for example, this is an object, you want to find, find the perimeter of the object. You start from this point, you again go, go, go and come back to this point again, that's called perimeter of the object. Similarly, in the case of circle also, when you want to find the perimeter, you start from this point, you go from here to this point, you come back here and this is your perimeter. Similarly, when I talk about when this tire moves from here to here. In this case, if you see, when the tire moves from here to here, this point is something which is moving. So, if you see this, this point itself is moving from here to here. You see here from here, this point is moving from here to here. So, this length is also perimeter. From here, point A to B is also perimeter. Don't be confused. Now, just to understand, perimeter is nothing but you start from one point, you go, 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 come back to this point. This is called perimeter or circumference of the 
circle. Both are same thing. Typically, when you rotate this tire, one revolution or one rotation is nothing but perimeter. So, if you start from this point here, and if you go and come back to the same point, this point orange one, this is the length of perimeter. And uh, circumference or perimeter is defined by the formula pi d, d is diameter, pi is nothing but 22 by 7 or 3.14 is a constant value. Actually, it's an irrational number, so it will be 3.14, it will continue, but we will take the value as 3.14 or 22 by 7. Both are same. So, circumference for a circle is defined by pi into d where d is the diameter or we can also say circumference is nothing but pi into 2r. Why? Diameter is nothing but 2 times of radius. These things we have learned in the earlier classes. So, circumference is nothing but pi into d. So, for this circle, this is my diameter, this length. I will call this as uh, cd. cd is the diameter. So, what and this, uh, let's suppose o, od is the radius. Correct. So, circumference is nothing but pi into d or pi into 2. Here, pi is irrational number and its decimal expansion is non terminating, non recurring. So, but we generally take pi as 22 by 7 or 3.14. As I told, pi is nothing but 22 by 7 or 3.14. Correct. Please understand circumference is pi into diameter or pi into 2 radius, both are same, and pi is 22 by 7 or 3.14. So, one complete rotation a circle makes that is perimeter, or in other words, you start from a point and you go around, come back to the same point, the distance covered is called perimeter or circumference of the circle. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.